My name is Jackie Deals. I'm an occupational therapist and have specialized in the treatment of facial paralysis for the last 27 years. I'd like to talk about the treatment of facial paralysis after tumor surgery. After surgery for certain types of tumors, the facial nerve can be damaged during the course of the surgery. As careful as the surgeon is, and they're great surgeons who take out these tumors, the facial nerve can kind of get, get in the way and be impacted by either the tumor itself or the surgery. So people who have facial paralysis after tumor surgery will have a, typically a little bit of a longer recovery time than people, for example, who have facial paralysis after Bell's palsy or other viral issues because it just takes longer for the facial nerve to heal. The nerve heals at the rate of about one inch per month. And so we can be looking at six, eight, 10, sometimes even up to 12 months after surgery before we see signs of facial nerve recovery. The first signs of recovery are that the tone of the face starts to pick up again. The patient may develop the crease here, which is called the nasolabial fold, and that starts to come back and the entire mouth starts to lift up again. It's at that point where we start to work on facial retraining because now we know that there's something to work with.